Hello, it is Reviews Day Tuesday, it is time for a new episode of Discord Discourses and today I am going to be talking about Snuff. Snuff is the 39th Discworld novel by Terry Pratchett, first published in 2011. It is the 8th City Watch book. Sam Vimes is forced to go on holiday in the country with his wife Sybil, their six-year-old son Sam, and the butler Willikins. Commander Vimes soon realises that things are not as boring as he was expecting due to the mistreatment of goblins on the land. As you may know from me going on about it all the time, Sam Vimes is my favourite Discord character and he's also one of my favourite fictional characters generally. I really enjoy this book from the perspective of being a fan of Sam Vimes. We get to see him in a different setting, which is always fun. He's very famous in Ankh-Morpork, Pork, you know, he's pretty famous everywhere, but we get to see him dealing with people who don't know who he is, and also where his reputation has preceded him. We also get to see more of his relationship with Sybil and young Sam and Willikins. Mainly in the City Watch books, the focus is on Sam Vimes and then the other members of the City Watch, and then it's the family. But here, the family takes more of centre stage because the rest of the City Watch aren't present for a lot of the book. I also love Willikins in this book, it's my favourite Willikins book. I would say that the downside of having Sam Vimes as very much the main focus of this book is that we know him really really well at this point so it does reduce the tension and the peril that could otherwise be felt. We're not really expecting him to lose, we know what he's capable of far better than everyone he comes up against uh, in Snuff. Also I never particularly latched on to any of the new characters in this book, which is rather unusual for a Discworld book. Maybe Feeny a little bit, he certainly had a good amount of growth, but I would have maybe liked to delve slightly more uh, into their characters. To an even greater extent, I would have liked to have delved more into uh, the goblins as characters. This is pretty much our first experience of goblins in the Discord series. I would have, you know, liked to learn more about their culture and their personalities. It is a bit of a shame that since this has turned out to be the final City Watch book, that we didn't spend more time with the actual City Watch. I feel like if this had just been, you know, one more book in the City Watch series, uh, it wouldn't have been so much of an issue. You know, most of the action does take place outside of Ankh Pork, and we only really get to see a few of the City Watch characters who we know and love. Although, arguably, as well, it does does mean you get to see more of um, a few of the City Watch characters who get less of the spotlight generally. Like Wee Mad Arthur is pretty important in this book. I love that we get to see more of that character, especially uh, after the events of the previous uh, Tiffany Aching book. There is a side plot with Fred Colon, but this is resolved away from us, it kind of peters out. This book, the same as many of the recent Discworld books, delves into some difficult and serious subjects, namely slavery and drugs. It has important things to say, and it generally says them well. It has a good message, although it does delve into the waters of the white saviour trope more than I would like. So yes, as you may be able to tell, I'm mildly ambivalent about this book. You know, I did find it slightly less engrossing than many in the Discworld series, especially in the City Watch series, which is my favourite in the Discworld. It has its flaws, but it also has its moments. I still really enjoyed reading it. There are plenty of things to enjoy as a fan of Sam Vimes and as a fan of the Discworld. On that note, I would um, suggest that it's not a particularly good starter book for the Discord series, I would say that it's best experience with some knowledge of the world and the characters. To me, Snuff is good but not great. I mean, I was never going to dislike a Sam Vimes book. The character is great in this book, but it's maybe not the most appropriate ending to the City Watch series. I will give Snuff 3.8 out of 5. I'd really love to know what you think about this book. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? If you enjoyed Snuff, what should you read next? I would suggest that you could continue with the Discord series with Raising Steam, which is the next book, or read some of the previous City Watch books if you haven't already. If if you didn't get on so well with Snuff, then I would maybe recommend um, trying mid-series. Maybe something like Hogfather. Some facts about Snuff. This book was released in the US two days before it was released in the UK, and in the UK it was the third fastest selling book since records began. In some editions, including mine, a short story is included at the back. It is called A Collegiate Casting Out of Devilish Devices, and it features the Wizards of Unseen University. The paperback edition, on the other hand, features the first chapter of Dodger, and the first two chapters of the long earth. That is it for today, thank you so much for watching, my next Discord Discourses will be on the 1st of September and I will be talking about Raising Steam. And the full list of Discord books and when I'm planning on reviewing them will be linked in the description below. We only have one month left now, two books to go. Ah! Let's move across to the end screen, if you'd like to see my latest video or some more Discord Discourses then you can do so below me here, and if you fancy subscribing to my channel or visiting my website then you can do so beside me here. Also if you're interested there is a link to my Patreon page in the description below. I hope you have a great day, stay safe, and I will see you soon.